Hey, how's it going? I am Michael Graves, and this is Carlos Danger. Welcome to Monkey Business Low Budget Reviews. Emphasis on the low budget. Yeah, emphasis on really low budget. We have uh, two spotlights right over here. I think my mom had those in her room at one time. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I, I think I remember those. And then these are these are shower curtains. Nothing fancy, not velvet, and uh, we don't spend money on clothes or doing our hair. No, we. We don't want to spend money on anything. No. But what we do do is talk to you about some of the new effects that are out that you can purchase at monkeymagicshop.com. And uh, today, we're going to do an effect, uh, a review, on voices. Yeah. Did you bring it with? Or? No. Hang on. I know. Hang on. I know Jeff Prey sent it to us. I'm going to say so. the magic word. Oh, what's... Low budget. Oh, oh what? what? How did you manage right? to do that? There's I another one I'm working on too. Oh, Ready to watch. White? Black. I know, cool. So here's the deal. This is Voices. It's from the mind of Jeff Price, and we just had a chance to uh, sit down and uh, watch it. So we're going to talk about it really quick, tell you what we think, and uh, yeah. So uh, here, we'll use our, our spotlight. That's our strobe effect. Yeah, see, we can do this with it. Hang on. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's cool. That. So, okay. here's the deal. We ch checked it out, and uh, we're going to start with uh, Flavorless, which is... That's the chewed gum restored to uh, a yeah. full, full gum. To uh, a full piece you. of gum. Yeah, Jeff right. Price, is, is, this is awesome. It takes a very old uh, concept. Yeah. Take. I mean, I actually have the effect in my magic room. And, uh, yeah, I, I always tell girls, come to my ma magic room, and they say, yeah. oh. <laughs> They're like, oh, wait, this has actual magic. Magic in it. No. Oh, wait, but no. uh, I actually have one of the old effects. I think uh, I think Royal uh, Magic okay. made it. Okay. Yeah. And uh, there, it, there, there's been countless other styles. But this is basically you're uh, chewing on a piece of gum. You take it out of your mouth. You put it in your hand. You then take the pack of gum, tap it. And you now have a solid, unchewed piece of gum in your hand mm -hmm. that your spectator can have. Or you can then take everything apart, show it to the spectator, take out the gum, give them more if you'd like. Wow. How, in comparison to what the trailer shows you know what? and the trick, what do you think? I think the trailer and the trick match up. I think it's very fair. There's yeah. nothing that he's uh, that he's hiding or you're watching the trailer going, oh, that looks cool. And then you see how it's explained yeah. and you're like, wait no, a that's minute. that's not even what it calls to what you said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's never happened, that's, though, right? That, that does not happen in magic. Uh, let's talk about uh, containment. This one... Uh, we disagree on because I don't like orange Tic Tacs. I I don't know why you'd want to change from orange Tic Tacs, <laughs> yeah. man. This is the best thing I can. You're just like, ah! Don't ever do that again. Wait, what? Okay. okay. But uh, this is this is a neat, neat little plot. You take out some white Tic Tacs. Or, excuse me, you take out some orange Tic Tacs. You shake them. And with just a quick shake, all of a sudden, they're white Tic Tacs. Uh, it's mints. It's something you carry on you. Yep. Um, especially if you're a magician, you got bad breath. You know you do. Yep. You know you stink. That's why you're a magician. Right? Can't and, the ladies. Uh, right? If you want to be good, be a clown. Yeah. Um, and so just like uh, Flavorless, where you know you carry gum, this one, you carry mints. Yep. Uh, let's move on to Clasp. This is an effect where you take a spectator's ring, and in the process of cleaning it, it vanishes from your hands. You have to do this. That's the vanish thing. Yeah. Um, it vanishes from your hands and ends up around a necklace that's been around your neck the whole time. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, I'm not a ring person. Okay. So, I mean, I think it's cool. If I you think, were. If you uh, were a ring person. If I was a ring person, I think I... I I, it's, I like it, but I don't think I, it's not the method that I okay. use. I don't, I don't really wear necklaces, so that's not my thing. Yeah. I mean, I, I like it. Uh, it just, I've never liked the way that it's done. I love what he is doing to make it right. happen, but what is holding the ring, I'm not going to give anything away. Yeah. Sometimes it's too easily explainable, but it's not a bad effect. If you're a ring person, you do some ring stuff, uh, maybe you're doing bandwidth, uh, you can go into this, all kinds yeah. of stuff. You can use a spectator's ring. If you're a ring person, it's definitely a nice yeah. add-on. Yeah, wow. cool. yeah, it's a cool effect. Like I said. Uh, fuel. Probably my favorite <laughs> trick. I mean, it's not. It's not. This, there's no complicated stuff to do. Uh, it's just. I. That's probably the lighter stuff he does. I. Yeah. I'm, I would add that to my repertoire. Uh, concept. An, yeah. an old concept and makes it more modern. The effect is a. Uh, you have a bit lighter and the logo on the bit lighter. It vanishes. It vanishes. Moves. Reappears. It moves. And then in the spectator hands, the logo duplicates itself everywhere 
on the lighter. Yep. And it can be fully examined. Yep. I, I really like it. That's awesome. Uh, I think. Uh, moving on to uh, to straw sum. This is a liquid changing effect. What this is is you're uh, you're drinking out of a, a, a fast food cup, so you, ha you have the straw, and as you're drinking it, they see, let's say, uh, Coca-Cola. So you're drinking Coke, they see it in the straw, you put your hand in front, you pull it away, it's now Mountain Dew, or it's grape juice, or it's Red Pop. And then you open up the... Or uh, Pepsi. Or Pepsi. Gotta give them both in yeah. there, right? Yeah. Hey, look, it changed! <laughs> but it's a visual change yeah. of colors of your drink, so you can go from grape juice to apple juice. Uh, you open up the uh, your cup, and it's fully examinable. Yep. Um, not the strongest one on the... Uh, this is part of the bonus, I should, we oh, should yeah. say. I, this is yeah, bonus. let me do this. Flavorless, containment, clasp, and fuel are the ones that, are, that he really covers on here, and then he adds in four other effects. So this is a bonus effect. Um, but again, I... It's okay. I can see doing it's it. It's nice. It's a little nice little impromptu thing. It is. It's very uh, impromptu. All right, so now we go on to uh, to eye flight. Uh, this one is a vanishing ring appears on your iPhone. Basically, it appears between where your headphones plug in and your iPhone, so it can't be taken off. Mm -hmm. It's actually locked into place. You have to unplug your headphones to get it out. And I know how hard it is with my case on my headphones yeah. just to get my headphones in yeah. and out. So, um, uh, least favorite one on the DVD. Very smart. Like the gimmick. Love the gimmick. I just think that in a spectator's mind, they might go to where we went to. Yeah, we went right, right away. We went like, right away to. Even though we were technically wrong in a sense. Yes. It was like we. It's like it's not really that great. So, yeah. It, in a spectator's mind, they might be able to go. Well, to do that, you would have done this. this and, if you had to choose between uh, eye flight and clasp, go with clasp. I would take clasp. They're yeah. both. They're both ring effects. But the gimmick on eye flight. The gimmick. I didn't. You know. I. You know. We were talking. We were like, oh, you know what it was? Yeah, we we were kind of surprised by that. Yeah. Uh, but not my favorite. We both went, what the? And then we went back and looked <laughs> yeah, at it. Yeah, again. Like, uh, light flight. The Bic logo on one of your spectators' borrowed lighters is going to jump to your lighter, and then you're going to give the spectator their lighter back. Yep. So you show a black lighter with the Bic logo. Yep. You show their li lighter with the Bic logos. And with a quick thing of magic, which usually looks like this, mm -hmm. uh, one of the logos disappears from their borrowed lighter and appears on your lighter. Both can be examined, both can be handed out, and they get to keep their lighter when they're all done. Uh, like I said, I, I I like it. I like the the, the I think his lighter stuff is really uh, I, ingenious and it's, it's it simple, is. but it's very ingenious. You know, That's I watch it. I go, why am I so dumb? Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like uh, even, gimmicks are included. Mm -hmm. Which, you know, it, one, you do need them for this. Very easy gimmicks. Um, you know, Not all gimmicks are included. Not all gimmicks. But yes, there will be things that, if they're for certain stuff, there will be things that might be harder to find. Yeah. Not, well, not too hard. No, not hard. They're, they're all fine. Some of it you can find on the internet really easy. Uh, clasped, you probably have to go to the internet for, yeah. depending on where you live. But everything else, you can go to your local store yeah. and, and pick up. We're talking tape, glue. Or, Lighters, puppy dogs, cats, there's a goat. Monkeys. Yeah, there's a monkey. Uh, but no, everything is easily attainable. But you did have one thing you wanted to say about the gimmick uh, uh, for uh, uh, containment. I do think, even though that the gimmick is supplied, I do think that, even though you could also get it, but I think that there should be more of them. More of the, of the, the uh, gimmick, gimmick itself. For containment. Yep. He does give you a lot of gimmicks for fuel. Yep. So he does that. Uh, but for containment, maybe one more set, or one or two. Yeah, it's just because, you know, if for whatever reason, if it's not right, I'm not gonna go into too much detail. But it's, if you mess up or you bend something, yeah, you're kind of you're kind of screwed. There is a part in the in the effect where he does show both sides of it, and I, we were wondering well, what happens if that thing gets bent. We're not gonna you know say what it is, but uh, Jeff, you probably know what we're talking about. Um, so and then he goes into Jeff goes into a uh, creation. Uh, kind of a, a creative thinking, how he comes about uh, these effects and these ideas. Pretty basic, but if oh. for somebody that uh, has maybe never even thought about doing that stuff, it's really great, I think. And there's a trick in there that he does. Yeah, I think I think uh, that he should put that one yeah, up there. This trick, the the, he, he, he does a trick uh, with a uh, headphones. A headphones from your iPhone yeah. or, or whatever. And just like the stiff rope, the headphones fall, the headphones fall. Next thing you know, 
they don't fall at all. Yeah. And you can put a ring on there, and it looks amazing. Yeah. It's awesome. You yeah. should have put that on there. So you can, I, I gotta say, we're, we're not giving ratings of numbers or anything like that because so many review shows do that. We're just gonna do this off of, would we buy this? Do we think it's good for you? I think if you are an impromptu magician, if you are a gimmick magician, whatever you are, you're gonna find something on this DVD that is gonna benefit you. Stuff that you can carry in your pocket. Uh, it, it, it is always around you. A lot of times you get stuck in that position. Hey, can you show me a trick? And you're like, uh-oh. Yeah, where's my deck of cards? Where's my deck of I cards? I need a fifty cent piece. I need a fifty cent piece. You know? I need a dollar. Yeah, and I need, I, I need, I need the hair of a camel. Yeah. You know, you, you, but this one, you can just carry it on you. So I, I'm gonna give this one a great thumbs up. That you should definitely pick this up. Not only that, it's twenty four ninety five. Yeah, and you're getting eight effects. That's well worth the price of the uh, DVD. And he does a great job also of explaining. Yeah. Holy monkey poop balls. To the point it was kind of getting boring. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, Jeff, dude, you're explaining so much. We get it. We understand. But he does it because... It's not a bad thing, no. If you're a beginner, you might not know all this stuff. So he really goes in-depth, really explains. And that's very important because you really want to get the ideas that he has and go, okay, that's why he's doing that. How about you? What do you think? Um, I like it because uh, I'm not really sure where this organic magic term is coming from. But it's grown in the ground. Oh. Uh, they must, yeah. Then they can charge more. I have a hippie hop rabbit uh, actually growing in the backyard. Yeah, oh, wow. Yep, it's organic. I, I do like it because it's not, you know, it's kind of like a beginner DVD in a sense that if you're getting into stuff like uh, you can use every day, mm -hmm. uh, he gives you a wide range. I mean, he's got lighters, gum, if uh, you're a beginner, Tic Tacs. Yeah, fl uh, uh, flavorless, clasp, fuel. You know, these, yeah. None of this stuff is hard. I mean, no. it, don't get me wrong. It's not a beginner DVD in a sense. Yes. It's just if you were a beginner, you wanted to get into something like this. Wanted you like doing this kind of like street magic, organic stuff, is what we call or, it. organic magic organic. stuff. Uh, this is a great DVD. Yeah. You, know, I, you, I, you I, can't I, beat it. I, I like it. Dude has a creepy basement. Yeah. I don't. I, yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah, know, really creepy basement. Right, why, why a basement? It's like sliding some lamb stuff. It's right? Like, it's like, Hello it, and welcome. It to... puts the magic on its yeah. skin or it gets the hose again. But I, in all seriousness, yeah. it's a, if you're definitely looking at something and some any one of these things is worth it. I mean, yeah. just it, the lighter things alone. So stop listening to us. Go and buy this. It is uh, from Jeff Price. The mind, the voices... Huh? Yeah. The voices, the voices. of uh, of Jeff Price, and uh, you can pick this up twenty four dollars ninety five centers. So there you go. That is monkey business. Low budget reviews. Oh, we gotta get the light light effects right. Okay. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you soon with monkey business low budget reviews. I'm Michael Graves, and that's Carlos Danger. It's not working anymore. Oh, we broke the show.